Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a review on none other than the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark Tanning Foam. This is what it looks like up close, the Ultra Dark Tanning. The dark and ultra dark tanning bottles look awfully similar. I almost bought the dark by accident. So just make sure that you go for the ultra dark, you make sure you read your label. I just wanna start off by saying how freaking excited I am to try this product. Now that it's spring, and now that, you know, soon, hopefully, the warm weather will be coming out, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready for a tan. I don't know about you guys, but I wanna be tan, I'm getting tired of being pale, and I don't wanna deal with it no more. So if you guys have seen one of my earlier videos, I did a review on the Bondi Sands um, dry oil. I stopped using it specifically so that I can try this just on my natural skin. I started noticing that the dry oil was leaving my skin, especially around my legs, super, super like scaly and dry. It was drying me out really bad. So I finally went along and I went and purchased my Bondi Sands Ultra Dark Tanning Foam and I'm here to try it out for the very first time with you guys, up close and personal. I got this um, on their website. I did actually look on eBay because you know I'm an eBayer and between shipping and handling, it actually costs a lot more. So this was about $25 on their website. They do have a US distributor, so it wasn't too much in shipping and handling. It was only like $5 compared to if you went to their website and ordered from Australia, you're looking at like $30. For first time purchases, they do like 20% off. So I got 20% off. So altogether, I spent 28. I've seen reviews that everybody's raving about it. I am so excited. <laughs> Here we go. So the directions are as follows. Step one, for an even streak free tan, ensure your skin is clean, exfoliated, and free of any moisturizers. So I just showered, I just exfoliated. I just feel my skin right now feels disgusting because I'm used to moisturizing or using baby oil after I shower and now I feel dry and itchy, so I'm just eager to get this on right now. Step two, pump foam applicator firmly and apply Bondi Sands Tilt Tanning Foam liberally to a tanning mitt. And use long sweeping motions on your legs, arms, and body. Use remaining residue on tanning mitt for face, elbows, and knees. I'm scared to put it on my face because I don't want to break out, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And you know what? Y'all are gonna get to see firsthand. In like a week, I'll do an update and I'll let you know if it makes me break out. Oh, so I got my handy danning tanning mitt. This I got off target.com. It was like $6, but you can get it off their website. You're supposed to leave this on for six whole hours at least. Oh, and it also says, if you want to go even darker, after 30 minutes of your first application, put another one on. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do one application just to see how it turns out. And here goes nothing. I don't know if I have to shake it, but I'm not going <sighs> to. Make sure this is clean. Here we go. It's fizzing. <laughs> here goes nothing. Long sweeping motions. Woo! Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> like mud oh my goodness gracious I really hope this like turns out okay because you want to know why because if it stays on for a week you know I don't want to look like a weirdo instantly and that's the thing about this unlike the dry oil this tanning foam does have a color guide and for those of you who don't know what a color guide is it just simply means that you can see the color instantly when you put it on it's not one of those clear tanning like the dry oil that just goes on completely clear you can't really see where you've applied it and it just shows up later this shows up instantly i don't know how i'm gonna do my back bay's not here he's at school but you know what i have pretty long arms i think i could do it oh look at that <laughs> it's bronze what i'm really curious to know is if this will get on my sheets at night i ain't about that it has the same exact scent as their dry oil. That light coconut smell. I don't know if I should just... Help. Let's see if you guys can see. Look at that. My tan is instantly on. Yay. This is, uh, this is awesome. All right. I'll do just my whole stomach. Just, oh my God, what? Look at my stomach compared to like my chest area. This is insane. Look at that. Was I in Hawaii? 
I don't know, was I? No, I've never been to Hawaii. All right, I will be right back. I'm gonna go apply this to my whole body. Apply it to my legs. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge difference right off the bat. I look like I went on vacation. Okay, so I am now fully applied. Got my whole body, got my legs in there. I wish I got my legs. And I got my face too. I got some tan on my face. So pros and cons off the bat. There's no doubt about it. This is an instant tan. You can see it when you apply it. It is dark. It is, it is natural looking for the most part. My only complaint as of right now, and it might change, is that when I put it on, it dries very fast. It looks a little, a little bit streaky in some areas, but that's just my first impression. And I'm hoping that well, after the six hours when I wash it off that it kind of blends in nicely. I'm thinking that's what's going to happen because the reviews were so good. I just can't see how somebody would, you know, pass that vital information up, you know? I will do everything that uh, the instructions say and tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'm going to film and let you guys know and see the end result. Yes! So this is what I look like. The day after using Bondi Sands, I am in love. Even Bay said I look like a bronzed goddess, right Bay? Right. <laughs> I used it on my face and so far, I didn't wake up with any breakouts or anything. So right now, I'm literally not wearing any foundation. The only makeup I'm wearing other than like lip gloss is like a little bit of just like eye stuff here. But nothing's on my skin, my forehead, cheeks nothing it is all just bondi sans tanning and also the streakiness that i was complaining about before is gone so nothing patchy looking everything smoothed itself out even just this one use of this tanning uh foam my dry scaly skin is like going away so this is my new go-to product all year round i feel good i feel confident and uh, Bondi Sands for life, baby. But uh, as of right now, this rules out anything I've ever owned. Didn't even get on my white sheets. Now, since I only have been using this one time, I just wanna see a week from now if it like lasts the whole week that it's supposed to. Other than that, if it lasts the full week, then this thing is 100%. Last thing I'm just gonna say is what I really love about it, that is you can apply as many coats as you want on yourself to achieve the darker look. So if you wanna look even darker, you just, you just keep piling on layers. You want a bronze tan, then get Bondi Sand. Yeah guys, so I hope this review helped. Let me know if you like it, if it helped you at all, if you've tried it, let's chat it up a little bit. Thanks for watching.